So, number five, for those who want to enter into this covenant with the Lord, this is what he says, one of the requirements for you. Uh, number five is understanding my ways. Understanding my ways. Okay, so how can we understand God's ways? This is um, something that he actually told me. Um, a few things that we can do to understand his ways. The first thing he said that um, we have to do is learn of me. He said, learn of me. And the second thing he said, study my word. The third thing, the third thing he said, understanding my ways begins with the fear of the Lord. So uh, the really important part to help you be able to understand God understand his ways why does he do certain things you know um why is this going on in my life why is he waiting so long uh to get me to the palace you know why am i the slave and then i'm in prison and then i'm in the palace why can't i just go straight to the palace you know so understanding his ways why does he do certain things and so here he said learn of me study my word and understanding my ways begins with the fear of the lord so first of all to get to that place where you can even understand God in his ways. You have to fear him. You have to honor and respect God. That's what fear is, is reverence, is honoring and respecting him. You know, because if you don't honor and respect him, you're not going to, your heart is not going to be open to him to even try to understand him. You don't honor and respect someone, you know, they can talk to you. It's like most of the time you're not even really receiving what they're saying because you don't have any respect for them. You don't honor them. But the thing about it, you know, if that's something that you have been struggling with, um, honoring God or respecting God in your life, you know, no problem. I mean, the Lord can help you with that. The only thing you have to do Think of a person that you have the highest honor and respect for, whether it's a military person, um, the president, a celebrity, um, you know, a crush or something like that. Someone that you have the highest honor for. Um, and just think about them, but honor the honor that you have for them, but honor God higher than them. You know, the same way you would honor them if you were around them in their presence. Honor God higher than that. Okay, if you have a problem with honoring God, that's just something you can kind of look at it. Find a person that you have serious high honor for and just honor God higher than them. Okay, so some of the scriptures to kind of let us know that, uh, you know, understanding God's word, the Lord, the Bible actually talks about it and gives us uh, instructions on this. Learning of me, when the Lord says learning of me. Um, the Lord Jesus is talking about this in Matthew 11, 20, 29. He's saying, take my yoke upon you and learn of me okay so be a student sit down at the lord's feet you know learn of me for i am meek he's meek okay so we need to be meek you need to be meek i need to be meek and lowly in heart okay and ye shall find rest unto your souls so this is the lord jesus uh saying that so the lord said learn of me the next scripture that I have is from 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay, so when the Lord says here how we understand him and his ways, study my word, he said. So here he's saying, study to show thyself approved. Um, you know, we'll be able to understand God and then situation especially in our lives you know if a situation happens or you're in a situation or some type of temptation you know you'll be able to tell okay is this of god is this demonic you know because you'll be able to understand the lord a little bit because you're studying his word you know you'll be able to tell if something is demonic and evil or if it's of god just by studying his word okay rightly dividing the word of truth okay so the next one is, I love this one. This one is so powerful because we're talking about a covenant relationship with the Lord, right? This is things that he requires for people who wants, want to enter, enter into a covenant relationship with him. So this last one is from Psalms 25, 14. And it says, the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Ooh. And he will show them his covenant fear honor God the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him 
and he will show them his covenant. And so he's going to, you know, show you his covenant. He's going to come into covenants with you like he did with Abraham and Moses and the children of Israel and, and all the other people that he entered into covenants with them in the Bible. You know, he showed them make great and mighty things. I mean, miracles and signs and wonders and all of these cool things, you know, and uh, revelations and mysteries and all of these secret type of things, you know. And so um, this is great. You know, honoring God um, has a lot of rewards and benefits. And one of the things that I have a teaching is about honor. And it's an older video. I'm going to update it because I want it to be more fresh and new. But it's about honor. Why is honor so important? And one of the things that the Lord told me is that he is honor. God is honor. So he's actually honor. So when we honor, it's like we have a part of We're doing, you know, uh, something that's his character, who he is. And um, when we honor others, and then God honors us. When we honor him, he honors us. So we get something in return. And another cool thing is what I learned about the Lord is that he rewards us. He will reward everything you do. You know, you're trying to do good. You're trying to do right by him. You know, you're trying to respect him and honor him in your life. You know, he's going to reward you for everything. He gives gifts. I have a teaching on here about um, the vision that I um, had of the Lord Jesus. And oh, it's a beautiful vision. Actually, I think I'll put it up here. <laughs> so you can check it out if you want to. But um, about God is the gift giver. You know, God gives way more than what we even deserve. Like, you know, a lot of stuff, we don't deserve it. We have did, I mean, we've done nothing to deserve it. And he still gives it. You know, even people who are not even saved, you know, they get blessed. So, you know, God is a giver. And so when we honor him, he honors us and he blesses us. So it's, we are going to be rewarded for honoring God. So I hope you enjoyed this teaching. And so the next teaching uh, I will share uh, from my book about another one of the requirements, requirement six, that the Lord requires of those who wants to enter into this covenant, which is the covenant of blessings with him. So I hope you have a great day. God bless.